Costco happens to be one of our Countdown Closers' favorite picks. Joining us now, Blanky Shine Wealth Management CIO, Robert Shine. Uh, Robert, Costco is almost a proxy, we see it, as an as indicator of how healthy or how concerned consumers really feel, because Costco is discount. It's discount. And, and tell me exactly what you see for the consumer and Costco, by extension, considering we just got really great and strong retail sales numbers. Great to be with you again, Liz. With Costco, yes, Thursday is going to tell us a lot about the consumer. Well, keep in mind, last week we got um, some help, so wind in the sale moving forward for not only Costco, but many retailers by a 50 basis point cut by the Federal Reserve. Mm-hmm. That being said, Costco is one of those that's extremely resilient and their growth strategy just doesn't lie on the uh, laurels of just the consumer base. They've got international growth as well as their digital. What I'm looking for is their digital sales growth of about 20% year over year. Now, I would caution investors right now, I wouldn't jump on Costco right before the earnings call. Let's see what the earnings play out to be. Let's see what the consumer actually looks like right now. Uh, but Costco is a long-term play and, and you know they have went from 71 million uh, subscribe, or members to 75 million is what we're expecting. They, they certainly got a lot of play with their gold ingots, their gold bars that they sold. Gold, gold's at a record. These things constantly sell out. I mean, that's creative, creative marketing and creative business, uh, as Charlie Munger used to say. He loved Costco. And I'm just interested to know, when, when you look at the, the opportunities here, the revenue, what revenue are you looking for? Well, again, specifically, all different aspects. Costco has been extremely resilient in up markets, up economies and down economies. Um, we just want to continue to see their membership growth as well as where are consumers spending their money? Is it on gold because they're fearful of what the uncertainty of the election coming up or maybe some geopolitical uncertainty? Consumers are coming back to Costco's, to the Home Depot's that we see, uh, but we're going to learn a lot on Thursday and it's going to be very exciting. Very exciting. You have two other choices here, energy transfer and Home Depot. Home Depot, obviously a play on housing. We just had Mike Meadler of Century 21 on saying that this dropping 30-year fixed mortgage rate just less than a week after the Fed cut interest rates is also a possible sort of sledgehammer to the ice that's been around the housing market. What does that do for, for Home Depot? You know, it's going to play right at Home Depot hands. There's over, believe it or not, uh, over 70% of the housing market right now are over 25 years in age. So that means that repair and restoration, that that feeds right well to Home Depot. Uh, But yeah, Home Depot itself is going to continue to, you know, turn the corner. I think what the Fed did by the 50 basis point cut is getting all the home buyers out of suspended animation. They could have done 25, but now it's 50. You're gonna get a lot of the movement in the real estate market. Once we see that, you know, it also can unlock the $33 trillion of home owner equity, which also benefits not only Home Depot, but Costco. So as rates come down, that's a relief, as well as, uh, you know, in mortgage prices and HELOC prices. Yeah. Wow, people have been waiting so long for that to all come down. Thank you so much for joining us, Robert. We appreciate it. Great to be with you. All right. The Dow making it rain. Let's